I just played one of the sillier games of StarCraft I've uh, played in a while, so I figured I'd uh, <laughs> rewatch that because it was pretty silly. So I've been struggling with Protoss lately. I just don't understand what they're doing anymore, or what I need to do. I need to get some real builds and just get what they're doing. So, you know, I have been getting cheesed kind of a lot. So you can either learn to react to what they're doing, or you can just be cheesy yourself. Uh, this is my view. Here's everyone's view. I'm red and they're blue, actually. But when I play uh, live, I always see I'm purple and they're orange. So what I do is I just... This map has a gold base, so I take that as my first expansion. I'll get a whole bunch more minerals, and I will flood them with zerglings, and then follow up as necessary from that. I don't know what my opponent is doing. It doesn't matter, because my plan is to be really cheesy. So they went Forge first. Uh, but they're putting their second pile on here, so it's not a cannon rush. So is this a Forge fast expand? That's the thing in StarCraft 2. I know this thing in Brood War. Huh. Interesting. So my plan is just once this hatchery is about half to two-thirds done, I will send a bunch of my workers here from the uh, regular mineral patches that mine five at a time down to the gold mineral patches, which, if I'm not mistaken, mine seven at a time? Is it eight at a time? Anyway, it's more. I didn't do the math. I just went for it, because I said this is like the fifth Protoss I've played in a row, and I've got my face beat in the last many times. I'm doing something different. So uh, this overlord did go and check if I was getting cannon rushed uh, here and here. It wouldn't have mattered, because they would be cannon rushing a base I'm not taking, but if they had been hand rushing, they might have actually then gone and seen where I went on the map. So yeah, they did forge fast expand. They didn't even they don't even have a gateway yet. Okay. Oh yeah, so their plan is if they're getting aggroed like 13, 12, or you know, 12 full something with bunch of zerglings, just make a cannon in the mineral line to stay safe. I have a pretty good wall here. So the zerglings have to go all the way around the Nexus to get to them or go behind through here. I assume they're gonna put another building like here and make it even a better wall. Yeah, and they've got a cannon in the other mineral line too. Okay, so yeah, I got my workers down here basically right as the base finished. I didn't quite bring enough. I have 9 out of 12, but I'm already starting to make zerglings. Honestly, thinking back, maybe I could have made these first couple into drones here and it still would have been fine. At the same time though, it is important if you're doing something aggressive, you get in their face as early as you can, so I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to do this build more times to know what the correct play is here. I mean, I'm sure the correct play is actually just bring enough workers from your base. You know, bring all 12 the first time. So, possible improvement if I do this again. My overlord got down here. I normally micro this up to see what my opponent's tech path is, but it doesn't actually matter. So I'm just letting it hang out right here for now. That's not true. I actually just forgot about it. Okay, so making a bunch of zerglings. I'm waiting for speed to finish because I wanted to just be able to run by and do what I want. Uh, I do follow up with a Baneling Nest here at some point. Yeah, there we go. Because you need that against Zealots. Uh, your uh, Zerglings, uh, you know, you can surround a Zealot, but you're still going to lose a lot of Zerglings in that fight. So speed is about to finish, and I think I wait for the last couple of links to get here once it does, and then just go attack. Oh, I see I should wait for these six more links, but that's okay. So I get here. I get a surround on a zealot. There's a cannon. I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to deal with the cannon. I don't want my zerglings to all die. Mm, is this a tight wall? I don't think so. Oh, they're just making a cybernetic score. Wow. So I get up here. I'm like, oh, wow. They have a bunch of cannons, and that's all they have. And their forge is spinning. I saw that. So they're upgrading something. In game, you don't actually know what they're upgrading, but it's either plus one attack or plus one uh, defense. You have two defenses of those Protoss, shields and armor. Or, yeah, shields and armor. That's right. Uh, our shields are so expensive, though, people uh, normally upgrade uh, that only in the later game. So I lost a bunch of Zerglings, but I morphed what I had left into Banes to go back in and try to destroy some of the infrastructure here. And see, I'm just flooding a whole bunch more Zerglings. I took another base to have a macro hatch, so I have more production. Since every hatchery is a production facility for uh, Zerg, it's important to make sure you actually have enough. I think I was waiting for... yeah, there we go. One more round of Zerglings to get here. See them coming across the map. Okay. So yeah, I get the 
Banelings. My goal here is to blow up this pylon. I also got the cannon, so that's great. And then just destroy anything else I can. I want to not die to the cannon as much as I can avoid it. It's like, oh hey, this gateway looks relatively free. I'm going to ignore the zealot and just make sure this gateway doesn't get up. And it doesn't. Uh, I wish I would click the zealot there. Oh, I guess I realize it before I go. All right, so I'm like, okay, great. Let's trade some units. I'm still not really interested in staying near the cannon if I can avoid it. Got damage on probes, but they do have shields that regenerate. Another baneling had to still wipe them out. All right. So yeah, I'm just still flooding zerglings. I have realized I'm going to need to transition at some point, so I make a roach warren. Because I'm like, well, the zerglings are not going to win the game by themselves. So time for the next step. I'm going to keep bothering this base, though, because I definitely don't want my opponent to be uh, just able to mine here undisturbed. I am pretty all in. I don't have that many workers. I started taking gases to make roaches. I still haven't filled out the workers here at the gold yet. I just am starting to do that. And just so that I have, you know, I think we're on approximately even incomes at this point. There's some button that checks that, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, well. Yeah, see, I'm on only 27 workers, so my opponent's 43, but the gold base is helping me a lot. And I'm about to wipe out this base, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I take out all their whole worker line, all the units that are here. I try to sneak some banelings into their main line, but I decide it's too risky they're going to get cannon, so I decide to not do that. Are they working in there? Zealots? Yeah, that's fine. So I decide, well, I'll just take the kill on the Nexus, because I'm pretty sure I've got that at this point. So I said my Zerglings uh, attack moved on the Nexus, not so they won't attack units. Even if they come near, they'll keep attacking the building, because my goal here is to destroy the Nexus. Succeeded. Ideally, I would have backed up the Zerglings, but it's honestly, I succeeded at my goal there. So it's okay. kind of wish I got the pylon, but again... These are all, you know, minor improvements for next time. And honestly, this is a weird place for a pylon to be. I'm not going to see that in most games. So just more zerglings, still flooding them. I don't know what my opponent is doing for tech, and that's kind of a fail on my part. Because I have all these zerglings. I could be sending a couple up here and being like, okay, what's going on? Because, see, they have uh, already got a robotics uh, bay down so they can bake colossi, which makes sense against zerglings. But that's also part of why I am making roaches next. The colossi are much less good against roaches. They're still fine, but they're not They're not just, oh, your whole army is dead like they are against zerglings. So, you know, I trade some units there. I go, okay, so I've got a colossus and a couple stalkers. And they can warp in some more gateway units and some more Colossi, maybe. So, next up, Roaches. Hey, they're at the front door already. I need definitely more Roaches than this, which, so I'm working on it. At some point, I realized I should be prioritizing the Roaches from this hatchery because it's a little bit closer than my ones on the other side of the map. But I don't know exactly when that happens. I also realized at some point that a dark shrine would actually kill me right now, so I start making a layer to try to have an overseer with my army at some point. Although I guess if I've seen a Colossus and my opponent's on one base, they don't probably have the economy to also have down the uh, necessary structures to make uh, Dark Templar. They probably don't have a Templar archive and a dark shrine. They, they don't have the money. They literally just can't. It's also kind of bad that I haven't actually checked any of these outer bases to make sure that my opponent hasn't snuck away and expanded. I realize here with my roaches I can just start right-clicking on the Colossi to attack them. And I do get one of them. The other man just to back away and, and live, but that's fine. I get the cybernetic score, I think. And I think I try to get the forge next, but I don't remember if I actually succeed at that. Yeah, I guess I do. So, denied an upgrade. I... I think the only upgrades I'm making this game are some speed upgrades the, for the Zergling and the and the Roach. Okay, so my opponent got charged. My opponent already had plus two attack. That's actually nuts. I did not realize that in-game. 
So I go, okay, well, they have a few gateway units and some colossi. Well, my roaches can handle the gateway units. I need a spire so I can get flying units that can attack. Colossi are so large that they can be attacked by air units, like uh, air-to-air -air attacks. So you could make corruptors. I end up just making some mutalisks because I figure the uh, glaive bounce onto the gateway units will be good. And they don't have the stalkers in large enough numbers. And I don't think I've seen Blink this game. And again, since my opponent is on such a low economy for so long, I'm pretty sure there's only so many upgrades they can have. And again, I've seen the Forge spinning multiple times. I know they have a Colossus. I, I think I've seen the Zealots charge. So can they also have Blink? Maybe, but then they'd also have like three fewer Stalkers. So that also is fine for me. Does it just kill the Stalkers really fast? And then there's nothing. So I did morph some Roaches into Ravagers. Figured I'll help my positional battle. Off this Nexus again. They do get the cancel, but that's okay. So my goal here is just to keep them contained to buy time until I can get the Mutalisks out. I want to get around 10 or 12 Mutalisks to go with this army so that I can take off the pick off these Colossi, and I think that will be the winning move. I've somehow got drones on my hotkey here. I think these guys were intended to go on the gas. At some point I realize it and get them queued back. Yeah, there we go, I realized. Got them queued back. So I'm just going to hang out with my ground units here until I get enough uh, air to support them. There we go. There's the first of several mutalisks popping out. My opponent's still trying to take the same base. So I, I guess I do at least have this base covered because that's where I'm staging all my units at. But ideally I would have, you know, eyes on all these edge ones too so that if my opponent was taking any of these bases I would know and be able to do something about that. So even though I think I've got them contained on one uh, I haven't actually verified that. So six mutas I must be waiting. Oh yeah I remember what happened here is that I actually had so much ga I had a gas and a mineral imbalance so I had to uh, wait a little bit to get that figure out resort some of my workers to get some more mutalisks made. There we go, some more mutalisks, a few more roaches to come in to be frontline because they have a shorter range than the Ravagers, but they are a little more tanky. So the Ravagers have a, the uh, artillery ability, though, the corrosive bile that forces your opponent to either reposition or take a whole bunch of damage, uh, 60 damage per shot, and uh, it ignores shields and armor and uh, it can break force fields, which I haven't seen a sentry this game, but it is a gateway unit that could make them. So I sent this overlord in intentionally to see what was going on here. I knew I was going to lose it. I should have already had another one queued, but it doesn't matter because I'm moving into hopefully end the game now. So I've got my mutalisks here, and they make short work of the colossi. My uh, roaches and ravagers take care of the other gateway units, and then I kill the nexus, and uh, that's the end of this game. So if you can't cheese them, and if you keep getting cheesed, just cheese them back. That's all there is to it, and catch y'all in the next one.